10 incredible friendships you won't believe exist. Yeah, that's my boy. To say hello, <laughs> or <laughs> is not an impediment to develop a beautiful friendship. Come with me, let's discover these impressive bonds of love. One, Zhao and Dindin, the penguin. A friendship that touched more than one, full of love, faithfulness, and happiness. I introduce you to Dindin, a Magellanic penguin that swims 5,000 miles once a year to be reunited with Zhao, the man who saved his life and lives in an island village just outside Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. But you're probably wondering how this friendship began. Well, I'll tell you right now. In May 2011, Zhao Pereira de Souza found a tiny penguin in the beach, covered with oil and close to death. But still, he took him to his house, he bathed him and cleaned all the oil off the penguin's feathers and fed him until he felt good. When Din Din returned to the sea, the people of the village thought he would never come back. But then everyone said, oh, no, but he won't come back. I say, well, I don't know. I can't say yes or no. The day he completed four months certainly, he came here on the beach. Friendship not even distance can wreck. Number two, my great friend Snowflake, the duck. It was chemistry at first sight. Not everyone can experience that. This is the story of Kylie Brown and Snowflake, the duck, two friends that always go everywhere together. They first met each other in 2015 when Mike Brown, Kylie's dad, took home a duckling in a box. The little one felt confused, so started to groan. However, as soon as Kylie put her hand out of the box, he got soothed. It's so sweet, he's so sweet. You don't have an idea. But actually, the most beautiful part is when Kylie sings a lullaby to Snowflake. This is gorgeous. They are an inseparable couple that go sledding in winter, have sleepovers, and disguise themselves to go trick-or-treating in Halloween. Not only that, Snowflake waits for Kylie at the bus stop. Hi! What a lovely golden couple. Number three, Gabby and her friend of the crows. I know when you hear crows, you picture this. This scene belongs to the movie The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock, which scared a whole generation. But this time, I'm bringing something special and very adorable. I'm talking about the inseparable friendship of a sweet eight-year-old girl with the crows in her Portage Bay's neighborhood in Seattle. Gabby was only four years old when she accidentally dropped food in her yard, catching the attention of some crows that were passing by. Since this accident usually happened, the crows were watching for the free food. As Gabby got older, she shared her lunch every time she went to school. <laughs> Leaving them food became Gabby's habit, and as a token of appreciation, they left her different gifts. One of Gabby's favorite is a little bead with the word best printed on it. And this sweet girl likes to imagine that a crow wears a bead with the word friend. It's beautiful. Number four, Emma and Cinnamon. It's impossible to resist so much sweetness. This friendship is able to melt your heart, making you release an of such tenderness. This is the story of Emma, a little four-year-old girl who has a best friend so much taller than her. Yes, I'm talking about Cinnamon, a Mustang horse that goes everywhere with her. Sweetie Emma loves to take her great friend for a walk no matter if the road is full of snow. Emma's dad, a well-known professional horse trainer, Justin Dunn, loves to record his daughter while she's walking her great friend. What's that horse's name? I'm not cinnamon. That's cinnamon? Yeah. Okay. Don't you think it's a sweet friendship? Number five, my great friend Rambo the alligator. If you think you've seen everything, I recommend you to reconsider it because this will surprise you. And now, I introduce you to Rambo, the alligator who is treated like another son. Wait, 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 what? As you have heard, Mary Thorne is a 55-year-old lady from Florida who rescued Rambo from a terrible situation. She had as a plan to take care of him until he was ready to live in the wildlife. 
but his health was so delicate that she had to tame him. This is how these two became inseparable. He likes to eat at my table. He likes to watch SpongeBob. Crazy Gator. <laughs> but that's not all. This local celebrity also loves to wear clothes, and not only to look handsome, but also to protect his sensitive skin from sunlight, since he was kept in a small plastic tub into a dark closet for the first four years of his life. A few years ago, the authorities wanted to separate Rambo from Mary, but at the end, she won custody and stayed with the little animal. His family. Number six, Nick Boing, a fluffy friend. Clear the way, because it's time to introduce the softest and fluffiest friend. I'm talking about Nick Boing. Hello, Nickers. Hello. A sweet little sheep that cannot resist eating the cookies that come in the cans. Not Nick Boing. Oh, he's done it again now. This special pet was adopted on a trip that the family made to the Gold Cliff Nature Reserve in Newport. When he was found helpless, and without the option of joining other animals of the same species, the Palmer family decided to keep him and give him a small space in their cozy home. They called him Nick Boing due to his lively personality. This nice sheep loves roses, going out by car in the mornings with David Palmer to look at the shops. But what he likes the most is to enjoy watching TV with David and Caroline Palmer at night, forming among them a unique bond. Nick Boing is a superstar who gained popularity in the city of Ribina. Unfortunately, in 2013, and at the age of eight, this nice little animal passed away from a disease. In Nick's memory, a tree was planted by the village residents, a park de Pentra, to always remember him. Number seven, my friend Christian, the lion. An incredible story of a wild animal and two human beings. The Australian John Randall and Ace Bork arrive to London and find in the Harrods department store a beautiful lion cub that they fell in love with immediately. So they purchased him and named him Christian, as an irony for the Christians who were thrown to the lions by the Romans and a way to defy stereotypes. John, Ace, and Christian were a great trio who spent unique and incomparable moments. Christian enjoyed the love and comfort that a lucky pet could have. But over time, the little puppy began to grow and grow, making it very hard to keep him. But as fate would have it, these Australians met, in their antique stores, the actors Virginia McKenna and Bill Travers, who suggested that they should contact George Adamson, a wild animal specialist. He helped them to reintegrate Christian into the wild and release him. As time goes by, John and Ace decided to go to Kenya, Africa, to visit their good friend. They had a big surprise. Number eight, my great friend Tima, the raccoon. Loving, <laughs> mischievous, <laughs> and piggish. These are only some of the qualities that define this charismatic two-year-old raccoon. Tima is Lena Troskina's friend, a Muscovite who raised him since he was an eight-week-old fluffy little ball. Lena's husband, who worked as a manager in the zoo, saw him as so harmless that he didn't hesitate to buy him and take him to his wife. As soon as they met, they fell in love with each other so much that Tima hangs around her and he's always receiving Lena's pampering and care on the bed. The only hard thing for Lena is that Tima is getting bigger and bigger. So it's difficult to keep him quiet because raccoons are very destructive. For example, Tima is always opening the doors, lighting the oven, uncovering containers, and so on. But still, Lena does not regret having taken him in at her house. What's more, she doesn't even remember her life before accepting this sweet raccoon. <laughs> Number 9. Mike and Kyle – Inseparable Friends It's true when people say that there is no way of knowing what your soulmate or the love of your life will look like. This is what Mike Javanji lived as he never thought that his soulmate was going to be feathered. This true love story began when he was boating and saw, in the distance, a small abandoned goose, drowning and almost dead. Without hesitation, he rescued her and took care of her. What's more, he even looked for a family, but they didn't accept her. So he decided to raise her until she was an adult and could live in her natural habitat. However, this nice goose named Kyle didn't want to leave him. 
Now, no matter where he goes, Kyle is always behind Mike. My best friend, yep. There's no doubt about that. But the funniest thing is that Kyle is very overprotective. When girls come around and she senses they're a threat, she lets them know. And she's smart enough to know actually who the threats are and who they aren't, so. <laughs> Just amazing. Number 10, my great friend Chamarin, the snake. Nobody, but nobody can imagine a friendship as deadly as this. This is the story of Kun Samang, a little boy whose faithful fellow was a huge snake over 18 feet long. Amazing, right? This little boy from Cambodia has lived with this reptile throughout his life, and both are inseparable. This great relationship began when this snake, being still a baby, slipped into the child's bedroom. This incident made them faithful friends. The snake was named Chamrin, which means lucky in Khmer, which is considered a good sign for the family. Chamrin likes to be near Kun, who loves to hug her, kiss her a lot, and sleep on top of her. And although Kun's father has tried to get the snake back to the forest about three times, she has always returned with the child. This has made Chamrin gain the acceptance of the villagers and be seen as a good luck animal. They are really incredible. Now, you tell me, do you have or know any unusual friendship? Let me know in the comments, please. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Don't leave yet, please. I have entertaining videos for you. What are you waiting for? Just click on any of them.